I'm head of artificial intelligence at Neura Robotics. My main job is to translate very nice works that are happening in academia about artificial intelligence. We have a robot which is equipped with a lot of uh, sensors. So I'm with the AI department and um, the team lead for machine learning. Uh, so in Neura I'm working as a software architect uh, for AI team. My job is basically to uh, develop robust deep learning models, uh, basically for object detection, to detect different kind of objects. Also pose estimation, uh, to get the pose of an object in the real world. The main idea is to enable the robot that a human can interact with the robot like a human. So the robot can see, perceive the environment, can hear what is happening. Uh, my job is basically trying to give the robot the ability to interact with the real world. But this is not limited to what human can do. The robot can even go beyond the human capabilities because the robot does not get bored or uh, never get tired. Uh, I guess the most typical thing is to collect data, either real or synthetic. One big thing in machine learning is actually that we need a lot of training data usually for the methods. If you really want to code in a good style, I mean maybe the first you have a clear goal like what you want to do. I try to make a good step-by-step -step project out of this ideas so that each step is actually possible and plausible. You have to make your code as simple, understandable or interpretable as possible. If you are super interested in artificial intelligence, if you are a super good software developer, for me it's not it's necessary but that's not enough. You should accept ideas and try to tackle any difficult project. Very important for me, which is I have the freedom to do something, to try something that I want. When I see the robot moving, I see it doing what I want it to do.